Say you have some money that you want to invest on RoboCash, but you're confused about the strategy you should use. This video will help you understand better how you can get the most out of your investing. Welcome aboard! Before you start, take some time to set your goals. First of all, choose if you want to generate cash flow or you prefer to get the highest yield possible. You might already know that these two rarely go together, but if you reinvest your profits, you will surely make more income in the long run with the help of compound interest. Second, determine other parameters. How long do you plan to invest? You can try buying loans for just a few days, but of course, the returns will be extremely low, especially with a small starting amount. However, it is a nice way to test how the platform works. Another aspect to think of is how much time you are ready to dedicate to portfolio management. Logically, with long-term loans of a year and longer, your investment can be almost completely passive. If you wish to invest in shorter-term loans, you might need to check up on your investment regularly and reallocate the money and earnings. Third, evaluate risks, do the due diligence, make sure you understand what the platform offers and on what conditions. Take a bit of time to go through the website and read about the platform, check its financial reports, and find out more about the loan originators. This will help you make sure you made the right choice of the platform, and it will also make it easier for you to set up your portfolio. You can also find how to gain extra income from bonus programs. Once you are finished, you are ready to choose a strategy. Basically, on RoboCash, you can follow one of the two paths. The first one is to invest in short-term loans. This way, you invest in loans of 30 days or less, so you get faster in over of money and a certain flexibility. Once in a few days, your loans will close, and you can choose to invest the money again or to withdraw it to your bank account. You can also automate the process by choosing the appropriate options in your portfolio. The downside of the strategy is lower yield. Longer-term loans generally pay higher interest because they are normally associated with higher risk. To sum up, this strategy is suitable for those who want to try investing and are not ready to commit to the platform for a long term. After trying the platform yourself and making sure it works well, you may want to go for the other strategy. The second strategy is investing in mid- and long-term loans. These loans mean longer commitments from several months to a few years, but in return you get higher earnings, monthly interest payments and more loan originators to choose from. Also, if you need to exit the platform before your loans are due, you can sell them to other investors on the secondary market. This strategy is suitable for people who go for higher returns and you can also enjoy constant flow of money from interest earnings. These are the two most popular strategies on RoboCash. If you need help setting up your portfolio, check out our tutorial. Also, remember that you can create multiple portfolios and combine both strategies for your benefit. If you have some experience with RoboCash, feel free to add your advice in the comment section. Thanks for watching and subscribe to our channel to learn more about the investment world.